One of my viewers sent to me this question that I thought was very interesting, and I think some of you will relate very much. So this person, she was uh, pitched with a coaching program that cost $20,000. And this is how the coach justified it to her. The coach said, you pay a dear price for this so that you will really commit to the work. If I don't charge you this kind of price, I notice clients don't commit. And so this healer person, she was saying, wow, maybe I should be charging more, should be charging a lot more so that my clients and, and students will really commit to the work instead of finding the next shiny thing and, 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 you know, and just going away. And so she wanted my perspective on this. And first of all, I'm, I'm very much open to seeing if you have experiences in this area. Have you paid a lot of money for coaching or for healing? And did the high price, was that the reason why you committed to the work? Or was it something else? I genuinely want to know because that's the central question here is should we motivate clients by charging high fees? What do you think? So my experience with this is the following. When I started my business in 2009, so like 13 years ago at, at this point, I was learning from the big internet marketers and they were charging $2,000 per course. It was, I mean, to me, I think it was now looking back, I think it's ridiculous. So I said, okay, I'm going to charge 2000 per course. Well, if you could see my course price these days is about one tenth that price. So you could see that I decided not to continue, but I charged $2,000 per course for several years. I made a lot of money and then I crashed and burned because my conscience, my heart really would not let me continue because I saw that I was taking all this money from people and I don't feel like, I don't feel like I was giving the value. They were getting the value back because I noticed that these people, Sometimes they would just go on to another program and pay another thousand dollars or two thousand dollars because they were used to paying these high prices and without really doing much. So here is the really, really sneaky dynamic I want you to notice as a client. You are a client, I'm sure, to others as a student to others. Please notice this very sneaky dynamic. Okay. Here it is. When you pay a lot of money for a program, your mind has the illusion that you've just got something done, that you just did something important, that you, you know, they, and the coach might even have told you, you just took an important step. No, you didn't. You, all you did, you're, you're just $2,000 poorer. That's it. You have $2,000 less money in your bank account. You've done nothing other than, than make a purchase and make someone else a little bit richer and you a little bit poorer. You've done, you made no progress. So this is really important. My, you know, a lot of people have this illusion. They pay the money and think that they've made the progress. You all, you have to make that conscious in your mind. Otherwise you won't see it. Paying the money doesn't mean you've made a single inch of progress. All it means is you're a little bit poorer. And now you actually have to make up the fact that you just paid the money by carving out more time to consume the program and to do something with it to probably take some risky actions that the program is asking you to take. That's about growing and learning and making mistakes and getting better and making more mistakes and coming up with questions to ask the teacher and all that stuff. All that stuff takes time and energy and risk. So paying someone the money for a program is only the first step to a bunch more work and risk that you have to take to actually grow and, and thrive and actually develop and get the value from a program. So if this is the only thing you get from this video, I hope I can save you thousands over the years. Like next time you see a program that's, you know, whatever money you're paying, you realize, okay, I'm just becoming poorer by buying that thing. And now I have to carve out a bunch of time to actually do stuff with it. I'm not making any progress by paying the money. So what happened from this, from this side, from the service provider side is I got, I got a kind of this guilty conscience over time, charging all this money, taking all this money from people and seeing them not really do as much of the work. So I stopped doing it back in 2012, 2013. I stopped charging those high prices and I started charging much less prices. My courses these days are one tenth the price of what I charged 13 years ago, even with inflation. It's still, you know, one tenth the, the absolute price. So what I, what have I noticed? The commitment level 
of my students and clients have not changed. So I can tell you from 13 years of grounded experience that charging higher prices versus lower prices has not changed the commitment level of my clients and students. It didn't. You know what changes the commitment level? The design of your program is it designed, first of all, the marketing of the program, is it marketing to the right person, bringing them in and turning away the wrong, the people that are less right for your program? The right people will commit. The right clients will do the work. So you got to design your marketing such that it's getting in the right clients, number one. Number two, you got to design the program so that your motivational methods in the program are not just because they paid the money, but that you have accountability somehow in the program, what built in, whether you are keeping them accountable or <clears throat> you facilitated buddy, buddy ships uh, or you pay a facilitator that to, to keep certain people, you know, certain groups accountable, whatever it is, the program has to design to keep them accountable. And then number three is that as you keep showing up with your authentic content over time, like I try to do this, right? I try to model this. Show up consistently with authentic content. You know what happens? Your audience builds a trust in you that translates into commitment to the work. That's what I found. As I continue showing up and I continue people watching my videos or reading my posts, over time, they start to trust me. And hopefully I've earned that trust because I show up consistently and that's a signal for reliability. So I've earned the trust. And then when they start working with me, that trust translates into commitment because they don't want to let me down and I don't want to let them down. So anyway, I hope this is helpful. Don't use price as a way to motivate clients. I think we are smarter than that. And our conscience wants better. Over time, your soul will thank you for making this choice. Charge based on enoughness and compassion for the other enoughness for yourself, compassion for the other, and motivate your clients, not by price, but by the design of the marketing and the program. Thanks for joining me. I look forward to seeing your comments below. Have you had experiences paying high prices and did that really affect your commitment or would you wish that they had affected your commitment in a different way than just charging you a high price? Right. So let me know below if you want to share any experiences and thank you so much always for joining me for these.